Good day! In this video, we are going to learn the linear inequality in two variables. Linear inequalities are different than linear equations. Although you can apply what you know about equation to help you understand inequalities. Equation use the simple equal to. Inequality will be represented by the simple less than, less than or equals to, greater than, greater than or equals to. To graph an inequality, Trade the sign less than, less than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to as a sign of equal to. Such as, y less than mx plus c, y less than or equals to mx plus c, y greater than mx plus c, or y greater than or equals to mx plus c, as y equals to mx plus c, and graph the equation. If the inequality is less than or greater than y less than mx plus c or y greater than mx plus c, graph the equation as a dashed line. Dashed line is not included in the solution. If the inequality is less than or equals to or greater than or equals to y less than or equals to mx plus c or y greater than or equals to mx plus c, Graph the equation as a solid line. Solid line is included in the solution. This line divides the xy plane into two regions. A region that satisfies the inequality and a region that does not. How do you determine and share the region that satisfies a linear inequality? If a straight line representing a linear equation y equals to mx plus c is drawn on a Cartesian plane, all the points on the Cartesian plane can be categorized into three groups, which are the points that lie on the straight line satisfy the equation y equals to mx plus c, points on the straight line. The point located in the region above the straight line satisfy the inequality y greater than mx plus c, greater than represent the regions above the straight line. For the sign greater, greater than or equals to, share the top portion. Point located in the region below the straight line satisfy the inequality y less than mx plus c. Less than represent the region below the straight line. For the sign less than, less than or equals to, shape the bottom portion. If you are graphing a horizontal line, y equals to h. Points that line on the straight line satisfy the equation y equals to h. The region above the straight line satisfy the inequality y greater than h. The region below the straight line satisfy the inequality y less than h. For a vertical line, x equals to k. Points that lie on the straight line satisfy the equation x equals to k. The region to the right of the straight line satisfy the inequality x greater than k. The region to the left of the straight line satisfy the inequality x less than k. How do you verify the conjecture about points in the regions that satisfy a linear inequality? For example, a. Draw the straight line. We know that a linear equation with two variables has infinitely many order pair solutions that form a line when graphed. We can plot the straight line with using some easier numbers and we only need two points to draw a straight line but the third is useful just to make sure that mistake hasn't been made. Firstly, draw a table and label with x and y. Try any of the variable x from minus 1 to 5 and substitute into the equation. Zero is always useful when we have x value of zero and put that into the equation, we have y is equals to 6. And do the same, try x equals to 2. Substitute 2 into the variable x of the equation, y equals to minus 2 times 2 plus 6. The calculated result is y equals to 2. Plot the point 0, 6, x is 0, y is 6, and the point 2, 2, both x and y are 2. Join them up with a straight line. Then, plot the points 1 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 0, 1, 1, 4, 4, 3, and 2, 6. 
determine whether the points spotted satisfy the inequalities. The point that lie on the straight line satisfy the equation y equals to mx plus c. The points 1, 4 and 4 minus 2 satisfy the equation y equals to minus 2x plus 6. Points located in the region above the straight line satisfy the inequality y greater than mx plus c. The points 2, 6 and 4, 3 satisfy the inequality y greater than minus 2x plus 6. Points located in the region below the straight line satisfy the inequality y less than mx plus c. The points 0, 1 and 1 minus 2 satisfy the inequality y less than minus 2x plus 6. If we are given the linear equation y equals to minus 3x plus 6 without drawing the graph of the straight line, can we determine whether the given points satisfy the inequalities? For a, the point 2, 5, substitute the x and y values into the equation y equals to 5 and x equals to 2 minus 3 times 2 plus 6 equals to 0. 5 is greater than 0. Therefore, the point 2, 5 satisfy the inequality y greater than minus 3x plus 6. b, the point 1, 2. y is 2 and x is 1. Minus 3 times 1 plus 6 equals to 3. 2 is less than 3. Therefore, the point 1, 2 satisfies the inequality y less than minus 3x plus 6. c, the point 6 at y is at and x is 6. Minus 3 times 6 plus 6 equals to minus 12. At is greater than minus 12. Therefore, the point 6 at satisfies the inequality y greater than minus 3x plus 6. And d, the point 3 minus 3. y is minus 3 and x is 3. Minus 3 times 3 plus 6 equals to minus 3. Minus 3 is equals to minus 3. Therefore, the point 3 minus 3 satisfies the equation y equals to minus 3x plus 6. How do you determine and share the region that satisfies a linear inequality? If the diagram is given, share the region that represents the inequality. For A, the sign greater than represents the region above the straight line. This shaded region, not including the boundary line, will satisfy the inequality y greater than 2 over 3x plus 2. For B, the sign less than or equals to represents the region below the straight line. This shaded region, including the boundary line, will satisfy the inequality y less than or equals to x minus 1. C is a horizontal line. The sign less than represents the region below the straight line. This shaded region, not including the boundary line, will satisfy the inequality y less than 3. E is a vertical line. The sign greater than or equals to represents the region to the right-hand side of the straight line. This shaded region, including the boundary line, will satisfy the inequality x greater than or equals to minus 2. Now, we are asking to draw the graph and share the region that represents each of the following inequalities. For A, as previous, we plot the straight line with using some easier numbers. Draw a table and label with x and y. For the equation, y equals to x plus 5. We put x value of 0 into the equation, y is equals to 5. And do the same, try x equals to minus 3. Substitute minus 3 into the variable x of equation, y equals to minus 3 plus 5. The calculated result is y equals to 2. Plot the point 0, 5, x is 0, y is 5. And the point minus 3, 2, x is minus 3 and y is 2. Join them up with a solid line. We graph the equation as a solid line due to the inequality is greater than or equals to. Solid line is included in the solution and share the region above the straight line. 
B. Rearrange the equation so y is always on the left and everything else on the right. Transpose x to the right hand side and y to the left hand side. Minus y greater than minus x plus 4. If we multiply the negative throughout the equation, the sign of greater than will change to less than. We have y less than x minus 4. Draw a table and label with x and y. Put x value of 0 into the equation, y is equals to minus 4. And do the same, Try x equals to 4. Substitute 4 into the variable x of the equation. y equals to 4 minus 4, that is 0. Plot the points 0 minus 4, x is 0, y is minus 4, and the point 4 0, x is 4, and y is 0. Join them up with a dashed line. We graph the equation as a dashed line due to the inequality sign is less than. Dashed line is not included in the solution. And share the region below the straight line. C is a horizontal line. Y equals to 0 is the line of x acid. A solid line is drawn on the x acid. Solid line is included in the solution. Share the region above the solid line due to the inequality sign of greater than or equals to. The last one, D, x equals to 4 is a vertical line. For x less than 4, a dash line of x equals to 4 is drawn. Dash line is not included in the solution. For the inequality less than 4, the left hand side of the dash line is being shaded. That's all. Thanks and see you.